Border States Electric, um, our approach to implementing this project was very hands-on. Uh, we, as a company, like to take ownership of a product at the, at the planning stages so that as we go through the, the planning process, the um, technical and functional specifications, um, through testing and implementation, we want to be there side by side with the, with the software vendor and have the knowledge so that going forward we can be self-supporting su self and um, also leverage the product um, for the greatest benefit. In accepting Border State's approach to implementing um, softwares, ReadSoft um, was very receptive to it and they were very willing to work with us um, and, and learn our approach so that we could have a successful implementation. Uh, they uh, were, were willing to um, have, give that concession, if you will, and allow us to be the owners of the product um, and essentially just guide us through the process. I think the biggest challenge that Border States uh, faced um, in implementing this product is um, getting a shift in work philosophy from, from the end users, from the AP associates. They were shifting from a data entry uh, focused position to an automated process management position. So it was just getting them to uh, accept and um, essentially they needed to own it on their part as well um, just so that they, uh, the, the end user buy in. Uh, trying to get them to um, get as excited about the product as the decision makers were. The biggest impact is the the shift in work philosophy from from data entry to um, automated process monitoring. That is uh, most definitely the biggest impact that we've had. Um, in addition to the the work efficiencies, you know, but the one that you see the greatest. Um, on the end users is the, the shift in how they need to work. With the implementation of the invoices as in addition to the document uh, cockpit and web cycle portions of this, um, we had to also implement the SAP archive link technology and the um, external storage technology. Um, at this point, um, we have not done further leveraging on the ReadSoft products of the invoices and cockpit web cycle, but we have leveraged the SAP Archive Link um, technology um, to, do, to be able to uh, store additional document formats and within the SAP business objects, but uh, we haven't explored the ReadSoft side yet. Advice that I would give to uh, any uh, company considering the process or document automation would be to um, own the product. When you make the choice uh, to go with a software vendor, um, own the product. And, and that's coming from the background of Border State's uh, philosophy of owning the product uh, when we, once we purchase it. Um, I think you get um, a, a greater in-depth knowledge of the product and how it should work for you. And then you can also, going forward, you can leverage it um, to the greatest company benefit. I, th I think getting in at the ground, at the, at the foundation, and taking it forward is going to be the greatest benefit to any user. I think uh, document you know, automation is relevant um, in nearly every, every industry. Um, you hear about all the green initiatives and you know going paperless. This is just another component to that um, that forward thinking, uh, being able to um, eliminate the stacks of paper on everyone's desk and oh that's on Sally's desk or in her desk drawer or is it under lock and key. I think that being able to have that visibility, um, that workload management. Um, and even just the document retention um, for audit purposes, having it readily available without somebody to have, having to go dig through a file cabinet. I think there's a lot of benefits to it. And that and um, being able to um, leverage the incoming email and faxes so that you no longer have to handle that paper. Um, and it, it goes right, right into the system and processes through. You don't have to uh, uh, handle it. It, it. So I just think. I think it's a bonus all around just being able to eliminate those aspects of the daily workload.